Haley out here at Bright House Field in Clearwater, Florida, where day one of the 2015 baseball championship has come to a close. There was a ton of action in the first game of the tournament, the four seed USF coming out on top 10 to six over the five seed Memphis. The Bulls struck first with a pair of doubles in the bottom of the first inning. Then Buddy Putnam would follow with a double off the top of the right field wall to bring Levi Borders home and give USF a 2-0 lead. Memphis answered with a pair of runs in the top of the second to tie it at two. Uh, it, it was a crazy one, you know, uh, Jimmy didn't have his best stuff, uh, but you know, he competed and look, he's carried us all year. Um, you know, we've won so many games, two to one or one to nothing when he's been pitching. Uh, you know, the offense stepped up today and, and they picked him up and I thought we did an unbelievable job. Uh, you know, a lot of two out RBIs there. Guys really competed in the box and, uh, you know, gave us a chance to win that one. You know, we kept getting momentum, you know, on the offensive side. They'd answer right back. And, you know, those, those are the games that are fun. Um, obviously, when you come out on top, it's a lot more fun. But those are the games that are fun to play. But then it was right fielder Luke Maglich who would give the green and gold the lead for good. In the bottom of the second, Maglich sent it way over the wall in right field, a three-run homer. He was three for four with four RBIs. Yeah, that was a huge, huge swing right there. Uh, you know, we scored the two runs in the first, and then we gave them back to him in the, in the top of the second. You know, for us to get, for, for Luke to hit that home run right there and, uh, you know, put us back in front, I think that really, uh, you know, that, that was a, a huge momentum change in the game. Um, you know, I, I thought I saw the ball real well my first at bat, and I uh, watched the way he threw the other lefties throughout the first time through, and uh, my second time through, you know, I went up there with the game plan and looked for a pitch, and I was able to get it. It was another outstanding performance by unanimous American first team selection, USF catcher Levi Borders. Take a look at this play from the fourth. Bunt popped up. Little, what a grab, wow. Levi Borders! Stretching out, all out into the dirt on the popped up bunt and foul ground. Ladies and gentlemen, Levi Borders. You see why there's excitement about this kid, let alone the, his last name being Borders. A lot of hustle. The Tigers would continue to chip away at the lead for three insurance runs. At the end, sealed the deal for the Bulls. USF scored its first seven runs with two outs. Yeah, I mean, we talk about it all the time. You know, every single pitch is important. Um, you know, you just can't give at bats away, and you got to continue to battle. And uh, guys did that today, and, and we had some really, really big two out RBIs there. You know, I think one of the biggest things with our team is we don't press. You know, even when we've got two outs, we believe in it. And, you know, just knowing that you're going to come through, you know, they, they make us feel good and they give us confidence at the plate. And with two outs, it's no difference, you know. USF pitcher Jimmy Hergett struck out eight batters in six innings to get the win and improve to 9-3 and three on the year. Two USF relievers combined to work three innings of one hit shutout ball. Memphis's Alex Gunn took the loss falling to 6-2 and two, while Darian Tubbs was 2-5 for five with two RBIs for the Tigers who finished with 10 hits. The Tigers will play in the final game of the day tomorrow against Cincinnati in a win or go home situation for both teams. USF will have the day off and return to action on Thursday against Houston who also picked up a key win to start off the tournament tonight. The one seed fought from behind against the eight seed Cincinnati to advance to the winner's bracket. Houston got on the board first with Jacob Campbell's two RBI double in the bottom of the first, but Cincinnati responded in the top of the second to tie it at two. Kyle Servants led off the bottom of the third. He would send a shot over the right field wall to put the Cougs back on top, but the Bearcats would answer again in the top of the fourth to reclaim the lead. Kyle Motice hitting his first career home run in the black and red. Well, I didn't think we had very good energy in our dugout, you know, early in the game. So, you know, it's uh, it's one of those deals we just had to find it. You know, I thought Cincinnati played hard and they came at us hard. And we've got to get used to being the hunted. And, you know, teams are going to try to beat us. And we've got to be able to match that intensity. And we didn't do it early, but we found it in the middle of the game. And I'm proud of the guys for coming through. And towards the end of the game, we kind of tried to pick it up and just start grinding out of bats more, kind of uh, start our own energy in the dugout. The Cougars trailing 4-3 to three after 5, but they would take the lead back on a huge two-run triple in the bottom of the six from Ashford Fulmer. That one was almost out of the park and was part of a key three-run inning for the Cougars. Well, this last month or so, he's been that way. You know, he's had some huge at-bats for us. Um, he's been extremely clutch. He's a great defensive center fielder. He's the best I've ever had. Um, you know, and he's got some juice in his bat. He, I thought that was going to go out, hit off the bottom of the wall, but that was a big, big hit for us in this game tonight. Yeah, they definitely carried us until the, you know, eighth and ninth. Obviously, Corey hit a home run, and, you know, kids are contagious, so I think I got it going, and then my team followed. Corey Jolks added a two-run homer in the bottom of the seventh to give Houston a four-run cushion. 
The American Rookie of the Year, Seth Romero, came in in relief, pitching three scoreless innings, striking out six of the ten batters he faced. Aaron Fletcher picked up the win for Houston, improving to 2-0, while Romero earned his seventh save of the year. It was the Cougs' 40th win of the season. That's a wrap on day one. We'll see you back here tomorrow in Clearwater. East Carolina and UCF first pitch set for 11 a.m. Tulane and UConn will join tournament play at 3 p.m. And then Cincinnati and Memphis will fight to avoid double elimination at 7 p.m. Eastern time. You can view all three games on the American Digital Network. From Bright House Field, I'm Haley Outen.